Good morning, everybody. So let's continue the last topic of a chapter: poverty, vulnerability of poverty, vulnerable groups of vulnerable groups means those groups which are highly affected under the poverty, highly affected under poverty. poverty poverty and occupation both are correlated most of the people include agricultural and casual laborers the tribals and the disabled or the physically challenged people are highly affected under poverty tenth d it's a ninth b class pratham join your other class so poverty the pov poverty tends are generally lies among the tribals among the those as a tribals which are as still not having as a regular source of employment these are generally as the agricultural agricultural and a casual laborers such laborers which are earn on a basis of a daily these are the daily wage workers which are living in a rural economies as well as in a urban economies they are not having the regular source of income so according to the estimation of a planning commission of india agricultural laborers agricultural laborers household laborers they constitutes the 25 percentage of a total labor force of our country 25 percent constitutes by the agricultural and household laborers household laborers and the remaining laborers which are engaged in a those which are working in a factories as a daily wage workers factories in construction sites in mines mines factories construction sites they are constitutes as the near about the 57% 57% due to as a such kind of a large number of the workforce which are generally as the daily wage workers they are living as below poverty line in those states where agricultural laborers form a great share great share poverty is poverty is also higher among the these states in case of the urban poor the poverty occurs primarily due to the outflow of the rural po poor people into the urban areas due to as a migration of a rural population towards urban areas leads to the increasing the number of the laborers in a urban economies in cities the casual workers the unemployed daily wage workers daily wage workers domestic servants rickshaw pullers vegetable vendors vegetable vendors rickshaw pullers hotel and the restaurant workers they fall in the category of a urban poor people i am again repeating as a in urban areas the casual workers casual workers casual workers rickshaw pullers daily wage workers daily wage workers yes they are these are influenced by the rural unemployment rural unemployment due to as unemployment prevails in a rural economy that's why the workforce migrating towards as the urban areas for 
the search of job for the search of job such kind of a migration which has occurred from a rural economies towards the urban economies urban economies it's due to as the pull factors those benefits which are attracted the population from rural areas towards the urban areas like better living conditions better living conditions second job opportunities job opportunities availability of services availability of basic facilities public facilities like health education health education water sanitation these are the easily and a low cost at a low cost these are available in urban areas comparatively the rural areas comparatively the rural areas that's why as the workforce attracted towards the urban centers towards cities workforce attracted towards cities a large number of the workforce attracted towards the cities from rural economies from rural areas for a better living conditions job opportunities and basic or public facilities those public facilities which are available at a low cost at a cheaper rates when we are comparing the such kind of the facilities in a rural economy these are not available due to as a concentration of industries in cities workforce moving towards the urban centers but there are some of the social groups which are the most vulnerable to the poverty these are the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes the vulnerable groups are vulnerable groups are divided into the two parts socially socially backward sections backward sections sections which are includes as a scs scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and scheduled tribes second are the economically backward sections economically backward sections economically backward sections to distinguish the such kind of a people government has issuing as the uh, identity proofs proofs to the these two groups these are generally as a yellow card holders yellow card holders to which they can benefit it through the government schemes these are the blue card holders economically backward sections economically backward which are not having as a regular source of income they are not having as a regular jobs so who are these these are the casual workers daily wage workers you can see in them such kind of the workforce every day awaited for the employers employers at a different uh, road crossings for example in a kapoorthala in kapoorthala chowk there are the number of the workers they are awaited throughout the day for a uh, employers employers coming towards a such area they are hiring the workers for a period of a 1 2 5 as per their necessities and they are doing as a bargaining it means as such kind of the workforce as those which are as a economically backward they are economically exploited by economically exploited by the economically exploited by employers economically exploited in the sense increase in laborers is yes increase in laborers increase in a workforce in economy as per the economy if services are not improving if the jobs are not improving it indicates as a negative aspect of economy it indicates as the negative aspect of economy that economy is a not self sufficient in a field of to providing as the facilities job opportunities to their 
citizens means people are the more due to as a increasing population economy is not growing that's why as a people are facing as a unemployment unemployment when the such kind of a unemployment it has prevails in a widespread which leads as a many problems for our economy problems which are associated with the such kind of unemployment for example political instability political instability is the result of unemployment prevails in economy political instability if the workforce not getting the jobs then then they will not cast their vote in favor of a in favor of the such politicians it may be as a which are not doing as a work for a country for a areas clear second as a, it will increase as a crime rate social dis disturbances social disturbances it will increase the crime rate those which are not having as a regular jobs for their survival they will opt as a path of a crime that's why in urban areas where the workforce coming at a larger in number crime rate is a generally lies in a urban areas as compared to the high crime rate prevails in urban areas comparatively the rural economies rural economies clear so let's we continue so there are a economically backward sections daily wage workers agricultural laborers vegetable vendors they are not having as a regular source of income if the off season is there off season is there then the such kind of the material vegetables it will be as expensive and at that time their sales are affected vegetable vendors rickshaw pullers rickshaw pullers rickshaw pullers daily wage workers domestic servants domestic servants etc are the economically backward sections these are the economically vulnerable sections of society due to as a social groups which are most vulnerable to poverty are the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes in your previous classes you learned about that the such groups such scheduled castes scheduled tribes it was as a part of a old varna system in which castes divided on the basis of occupations caste in india divided from a vedic age towards as a present on behalf of the occupations brahmin kshatriyas vaishyas shudras due to as a low graded work given to the such sections of such groups are highly vulnerable in indian economy clear if the they are not having as a regular source of income not having as adequate adequate job opportunities as per their needs under such circumstances they will lie under the below poverty they will lie below poverty so for upliftment of a such sections of a society government giving their efforts it has making their efforts for a improvements for improvements in a such economically vulnerable groups through their different number of schemes those schemes which we discuss in a poverty alleviation programs for example manrega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act targeted to the sc and st community jobs given to the sc st community for 100 days in a year 100 days in a year in a state when the panchayats are fail to given as a job opportunities any kind of a work for the survival under such circumstances unemployment allowance given by the panchayat to the that unemployed at for their survival for their survival without any work this is this condition it will be as a apply in that state if jobs not provided by the village panchayats to panchayats to the workers clear this was our chapter poverty if you are having any other questions regarding the our chapter this chapter of poverty with this chapter your syllabus is definition now any queries you can ask if you are having any other questions regarding it you can ask yes
or poverty trends means in such areas where the economically as uh, sorry poverty has increasing increasing as drastically due to as the due to the environmental conditions some of the economies they are highly affected under the poverty for example one example is there in bihar odisha bihar and odisha these of the states are considered as a poorest states of india poorest states of india the reason behind the in such economies has a high crime rate high growth rate of population high growth rate of population and natural disasters floods cause destruction in a parts of a bihar those areas where as the natural disasters hit the particular area in such areas as a infrastructural growth is lesser occur comparatively the other areas infrastructure in the sense uh, schools schools health centers growth of a means of a transport if the such kind of services are not provided by the state governments then what will be happen industries it will be not located in such areas last year you read as a geographical factors industries preferably locate in such areas where as the means of transport are well developed where the cheaper public facilities given by the government to their people if the people they will living as a workforce easily cheaper workforce will available for a industry so all these are influenced by as the those government policies which are affecting the affecting the growth of economy uh, yes the reasons responsible for the poverty trends the global poverty trends in all over the world so what were, what are the common reasons so you can write as a what are the reasons responsible for the poverty trends uneven poverty trends lies in all over the world uneven poverty trends in all over the economy this was your yes so what are the reasons responsible for this unequal distribution of natural resources first uneven distribution of natural resources uneven distribution of natural resources if the natural resources it will be as equally distributed then what will be happen it will impact over economy then the migration which now has presently occur in a larger in number then it will be not occur in economies if all countries having as a same number of resources due to as a uneven distribution of resources uneven distribution of resources there are the poverty trends are the differently managed differently lies in all over the world second second growth of population growth of population population growth as the unevenly occur in all over the world world's two third of the population is living in a africa and africa and asia africa and asia which are constitutes as a 40 percentage of a total landmass of world total landmass so such kind of a large population two third of the world's population out of which as the uh, approximately the 280 crores 280 crores is living in a china and india only in these two countries china and india which are constitutes as near about a 17 percentage of a total landmass of world china and india they are having as the near about the 3 billion population of world out of which as more than 130 is lies in india more than 130 lies in india and the near about the near about the 150 lies in a china so due to as a high growth of a population the uneven uneven poverty trends are lies in a world economies third third economic development in economies economic development influence as the poverty trends economic development yes can anybody distinguish what it means what is the difference between as a growth and development 
वॉट इज द डिफरेंस इन डिफरेंस बिटवीन ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंट ये हाउ कैन बी डिस्टिंग और बोथ आर दिनोनिम्स ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंट आर सिनोनिम्स दीज आर सिनोनिम्स और डिफरेंट ये एनी बडी मेक डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन ऑफ ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंट कंट्रीज ग्रोथ इंफ्लुएंस एज द डिवेलपमेंट Growth is increasing. Very good. Dia said, "Growth is increasing means has a quantitative aspect. Quantitative aspect. Growth it can't be as a decrease. It will qualitative aspect. Qualitative aspect of economy. Growth in the sense number of the services improved in last seventy years. Population increase. Job opportunities in, uh, increase. Clear." all these are indicates as a growth of economy but in a other side development yes lovelyna same as yes, quantitative aspect but the development is a qualitative aspect it indicates that the, at the time of independence the economy of country where the more than 50% people were under poverty but now as a less than 30% remaining as in uh, present economy present economy under the poverty it indicates as a development our developmental goals achieved since last 70 years of indian independence at the time of independence that economy that indian economy which depended on others for completion of their food requirements now as a self reliant in a field of food grains due to green revolution india now as exporting the 60 percentage of our raw iron ore towards as a japan north korea and russia but through as a growth of a Newer industries presently as there, there are the ten integrated steel plants are there, but at the time of independence only one was there. This has indicates as a development. At the time of independence, the number of railways were the limited, but now as are the large number of the work, uh, large number of people that are daily, daily they are moving to as the. railways they are occupying as the railway services which are considered as the cheapest mode of the transportation in india as per the physiographic growth of the economy growth of a country which supported for the growth of different number of a means of transport afterwards the independence which indicates a development yes any other they are said quantitative aspect as the growth and a qualitative aspect as the development Lavlina said, as a development is defined as where the growth is visible in relation with physical environment and physical factors. Okay, then what it means a growth? Sorry, development. Lavlina. Eva said, growth is defined as a development of something. Development of something. Growth is defined as development of something, and development refers to the improvement. Okay. Yes. Anybody else? Asha said, "Development is improved. Development indicates as the improvements." Ashpri said, "Growth is influenced by the development, and development is dependent. It does not depend." Okay. Okay. Second, growth. Growth is a continuous process. Growth is continuous process. Since last seventy years, changes occur. Changes occur. अगर अगर कुछ भी नहीं हुआ होता लास्ट सेवेंटी इयर्स में गवर्नमेंट ने कोई पॉलिसीज नहीं बनाई हुई थी कोई चेंजेस कोई प्लानिंग कमीशन नहीं आता बट से लास्ट पॉपुलेशन में इंक्रीज होता जैसे पॉपुलेशन इंक्रीज होती सच पॉपुलेशन इट विल इंक्रीज डेमसेल्स है ना प्रोडक्शन एक्टिविटीज उससे कुछ इंक्रीज होती इतना ड्रास्टिकली नहीं होता पर कॉन्टिन्यूस होता फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन 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 अचिता वेन अचिता एंटर्ड इन नर्सरी क्लास at that time achita it was as a very small girl but now she is becomes as a big girl tall girl it's under the such couple of years only through the couple of years she gained a lots of information now she's achita becomes as a brilliant girl brilliant girl in relation to economy if we increase the number of inputs country will grow if we occur if we do as a more investment then the country it will be as grow as high exercise
Lovelina said, as a growth, it can be as a miserable, but the development, it can be as only assume or as a check data in a present economy, what kind of the changes are occur. Okay, now the first question, describe how the poverty line is estimated in India. Archita will answer. Archita, Archita from girl side, from boy side as Satak, they will answer. Yes, raise your hand, both of you. Achita and Sathak Bangotra. Achita and Sathak Bangotra. Sathak Heaven. Heaven. Raise your hand. Heaven. Explain expenditure method and income method. Consumption level as indicates to as the it can be as a check to as an expenditure method, whatever expenses done by the individual in relation to the completion of their basic necessities for food, for shelter, for clothing. This as showed as their consumption level and second as the income level. Yes, Lavlina. Sorry, sir. Thank you. Second question. Clear income and expenditure method. Second question. Do you think that present methodology of a poverty estimation is appropriate? Is it appropriate, Shubham Sharma? Shubham and good job. Good job. Ashpreet is not favored at that statement. She's not agree with this. As according to Ashpreet, no. We are not uh, considered that the present methodology of a poverty estimation is not correct. So what are the reasons? What are the reasons which will be as a show that you are not agree with that statement? Estimation of poverty is not adequate in a present economy. So what are the reasons? First reason, Ramnik said, quality of a product is low, although the rates $1 in a day is considered as above poverty. When we convert the dollars into the rupees, it will be the 70 rupees, approximately as a 70 rupees, 32, 70 huge differences are there. It's due to as a per capita income. First, second, second, Gulf countries, Gulf countries, natural resources are there. Crude oil is available, but they can't produce as a crop. If they produce as a crop, then it will be as a more expensive than as their natural resources. So under such circumstances, they are importing the materials from the other areas. Import materials from the other areas. Second, third, uneven distribution of a natural resources like agriculture in other economies. In Pakistan, in Nepal, in other economies, then in such economy, they will be only the economically backward sections are there. But in our country, as a socially backward sections are also there. Socially backward sections, which are the highly affected by the poverty, which has not equally lies in other economies of the world. Other economies of world. Next, fifth, uneven distribution of income. Uneven distribution of income due to as a more possibilities in a certain economies. Rich becomes as a more richer, poor becomes the more poorer, which increases as the economic gap, economic disparities in economy. Clear? The rest we will discuss on tomorrow. This was your second question. The rest of the questions we will discuss on tomorrow. Today's test, it will be as a share on our WhatsApp group. You have to send your images, neither as